claim that, that I've allowed this process to, to proceed, but I think there's also some, some responsibility on you as you were the city to, that I didn't have that document initially. And so it is with great reluctance that I have to face this mootness issue. Uh, I don't know Mr. Inge from, from Adam, uh, except for these hearings or anyone else from the city, but I will tell you from my perspective that their submission uh, on the 31st, uh, Mr. Walsh, on the, their submission on the 31st and not having you, having served you, uh, is, can be categorized either as lack of professionalism, lack of respect for this, this office and this process, which none of us likes that, uh, because now we've turned it on me and it becomes uh, a position where I'm feeling disrespected, or it is simply a lack of care. In other words, a lack of, they just, they just don't do their job properly. I don't know which one it is. But I will tell you that the filing of this motion at this point in time, in my opinion, uh, would best be categorized as disingenuous. Uh, I, I, am, I am personally offended by, by the submission. The city knew full well uh, from the time we set the hearing uh, on October 7th, when we were in this, this location, fully knew that it was going to extend beyond the technical time when, when the exclusion was entered. I know that's a long speech and it's a long spiel, but I'm going to give you a choice here. Uh, I know which way I choose and I'm going to try to push it, but just take it as my percent from me, and that is I would like to give you an opportunity to review that document, review it with an attorney if necessary. I can't, I can't emphasize enough that I wish you would you review it with an attorney, uh, and then come back and, or come submit, resubmit to me a document, or submit to me a document in opposition to the city's filing. The, that's option number one, is to give you some time to respond. Right. Number two is that I can simply make a decision based on what I have in the record so far. I am, because I've been in this office a long time and I've practiced the law a long time, I'm fully aware of generally the concept of mootness and generally the concept of quashing subpoenas. I will tell you that this is not a, a slam dunk case on the city side. Um, it is not a foregone conclusion that I could not be persuaded that it's not moot because there may be an issue uh, that is practical to you. Uh, and secondly is that I'm not, I am certainly not convinced based on what the city has given me that the motions to, to quash the subpoena ought, ought to be granted. Um, you're the one, Mr. Walsh, that asked me to look at the charter. Uh, they're actually referring back to the, the charter. Uh, I tend to read things fairly literally, and the way I read that section of the charter that's been cited to me, I don't think it supports exactly what Mr. Eng is, is, is suggesting that, that it has. So, that's your choice, and, and, I, and I'm not particularly happy. Uh, it's not that I was looking forward to having a, a, a extended hearing and people going at each other uh, in, in, in uh, verbal combat. Uh, not, I would have liked to have had this hearing, but I think to, I need to give you a chance to respond to this motion since it was, it was submitted at such a late date. And it is so important. The, the, the elements of, of its, uh, its claims.